Now, folks, tonight the deputy president wants the chief justice, Martha Comey, to be able to constitute a special bench of judges to determine his ouster by the National Assembly. Of course, he says that this actually raises weighty constitutional questions. In an application filed at the High Court through his lead counsel, Paul Muite, the Deputy President argues that there was no proof that he was elected under a presidential system of government which was in a gross violation of the Constitution. This is one of the key things that has actually emerged in this impeachment process. If you've been watching, no doubt you've heard conversation and debate around this, the question of constitutionality. And this is just one of the things that actually will be playing center, or rather taking center stage. Remember, folks, we're living in unprecedented times. Uh, history is being made as we speak, and what happens in this scenario will likely inform what's going to happen in future cases if we ever find ourselves in a place like this, which is why a case like this is vitally, critically important to be done in the best way possible, because this will be the example, will be the template that future generations and perhaps even future crises similar to this will be handled. Once again, folks, the Deputy President wants the Chief Justice Martha Comey to constitute a special bench of judges to determine his ouster from office by the National Assembly. Says he, it actually raises weighty constitutional questions and this is, of course, in an application at, uh, filed at the High Court through his lead counsel, Paul Muite, and the Deputy President is um, is actually questioning some of these things. Here's the story for your perusal. With more than 20 petitions challenging his impeachment before the courts, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwe is back in court to challenge Tuesday's vote by 281 MPs to impeach him. Yes, sir. Gashagwa, through his lead counsel Paul Muite, warns Chief Justice Mother Koome to constitute a bench of judges to determine his ouster, which he says raise weighty constitutional questions of an elected leader impeached without proof of gross violation of the Constitution and whether the DP was accorded a fair trial, arguing the motion was thrashed contrary to the starting orders. It is not a question of a majority in the National Assembly, for whatever reason, saying we have no confidence in so and so. The fact that you may have the numbers does not entitle you to impeachment. There has to be proof of gross violation. Speakers of the two houses of parliament, Moses Wetangula and Amazon Kingi, opposing the application before High Court Judge Justice Lawrence Mugambi, saying the application is overtaken by events, while arguing it does not warrant a bench, saying Parliament followed the law and that the courts have no jurisdiction over the matter. There was a resolution by the National Assembly, my Lord, <coughs> that impeached the Deputy President. And under that, my Lord, um, the matter has since been referred to the Senate. And a Gazette notice, my Lord, convening the hearing of the Senate proceedings for impeachment, my Lord, has been issued. The Senate is now seized of the matter. What they do or don't do or how they exercise that discretion is yet to be seen. So that even the question of jurisdiction under Article 165 for at this point is premature. Muite further wants the bench to rule on the recent public participation on the impeachment motion, falling short of calling it a sham, saying it was inadequate, while questioning whether Parliament can conduct a fair process. Justice Mugambi will rule on the matter on Friday on a case the Law Society of Kenya has been enjoined. With more than 20 petitions before the courts, Deputy President Rigadi Gashagwa is leaving nothing to chance inside and outside parliament ahead of Friday's crucial High Court ruling. Apul Kamau, TV47 at the Milimani Law Courts.